Hi, okay, we're going grocery shopping at night. I have my list and uh, yeah, that's just what we're gonna do. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm at the store. Before the activities commence, I would just like to say something. If I look greasy, Bruh. it's because I put a couple little drops of hair oil in my hair and a couple drops went way further than I thought it was gonna go. But honestly, I feel like I have a I'm greasy disclaimer within almost every video. So at this point, I might just be a greasy person. And that is what it is, but I would like to thank you for accepting me with all my grease. Um, anyway, let's go get some groceries. Yeah! Okay, first I need some toothpaste, but there's literally 50 options. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think it's gonna have to be this. I don't know if this is for children. I don't know if that makes a difference. If you're a cottage cheese consumer, you'll know there's a huge difference between different types of cottage cheese. The Knudsen kind, top tier. That, if you go to a restaurant and they give you Knudsen cottage cheese, oh my God, they're investing big bucks in you. Um, the other kind, eh. Also, I'm already having second thoughts about this toothpaste. Normally, I would get Greek yogurt, but I'm not going to right now. And I would just like to say, every single time I bring up Greek yogurt, there is a comment saying, it's not Greek, it's something else. Don't take it up with me, okay? I believe you. Take it up with Shabani. Okay. <laughs> I started taking my health more seriously and getting these organic ones that don't have a bunch of crazy additives in the ingredients. I'm getting serious about health. Jello. If you mix Jello in like this, the sugar-free whatever, mix it in with some yogurt or Greek yogurt, especially whatever kind of yogurt you want to call it. Bless it. I usually get this size of um, the stevia, but I think I'm just gonna full send. Get one of these big ones. Look at that one. A brown, brown flavor. Nice. Still zero calories. Eight carbs. Okay. Nani? Y'all, the egg whites. They've been ransacked. This is it. My only option. And it's warm. Oh my god. Pickle salad. Six is kind of a lot, but you can freeze them. Make smoothies. Oh my God, it's watermelon season. I need me a melon. And an onion, because onions are really great. I feel like if you've watched Shrek, you already know, but um, just trust me. I really like adding onions to my chicken, or even my eggs, even just onions by himself. Caramelize them on a pan. Of course, I have to treat myself for being so brave and going grocery shopping. So kombucha, today there's a sale, three for six dollars. So I'm getting three. Yonk. 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 Okay, so apart from the kombucha, I think I'm gonna get myself maybe another little treat. 
because I did hurt myself, I hit my shin, and I have been super brave. I've been really brave today. You serious? Little treat. Beef jerky, the ultimate treat. Extremely expensive, so you know you're really balling out when you get the beef jerky. Beef jerky, the most extreme little treat. This is like a crazy markdown. I feel like it definitely should have been $14.99 to start with, but I feel like I can't miss out on it now. That's not a lot for $24, but it's enough for me. Another little treat because the beef jerky was expensive, so I need another little treat um, just to make up for you know, the emotional damage of that. There's so many of these like diet ice creams these days. Um, I feel like they'll all tear up my stomach, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to be trying these ones. I'll update you in a bit. was just leaving but look at these two grocery carts kissing how sweet okay I'm back in the car um, obligatory post grocery shopping kombucha I feel like that trip wasn't terribly stressful I think because I didn't have to decide what cereal to get or anything like that I did have to decide for the toothpaste immediately regretted my decision also can confirm it was for children because when I was checking out it said Tom's kids. That is what it is. You know, I feel like why can't we make adult products with pandas on them? Feels ridiculous, but. One trip, obviously. Cause mama didn't raise no weenie. Alrighty, here is everything. Ta-da! Total came out to $86.25. That is more expensive than usual, and I think it was more expensive because little treat, little treats, also things that I don't have to get like every time. So yeah, here it is. Things that I already have, miscellaneous snacks. I already got a lot of oats, protein powder and stuff. I got some rice back there somewhere. In here, I do have some more frozen meats. I have some turkey. I have frozen vegetables and a little bit of Greek yogurt. Okay, I'm gonna try out these ice creams. First things first, comparing the serving sizes. The Fairlife one is pretty much twice the Scandal Less one. So for two thirds cup, for the Scandal Less, I got the birthday cake flavor. There were other flavors that were like higher in calories, but I think this one was the lowest. For two thirds cup, which is 85 grams, was 90 calories, two grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. For the Fair Life, I got the cookies and cream. This was the lowest calorie one. For two thirds cup, 108 grams, so I guess this one's like more dense or something. I don't know what that's all about. It's 180 calories, eight grams of fat, 20 carbs, and nine grams of protein. Let's go. Unveiling. This. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm a big texture person, so I like when there's like chunks in my ice cream. Oh my God, I love chunks. Also really good. If you like birthday flavor, birthday cake flavored things. Mm. One thing I don't like about these like diet ice creams is usually they really hurt my stomach. I get really bloated and stuff, especially if I have the whole pint. It's probably whatever additives. Not to say that regular ice cream is like that much better, but these ones definitely, there's something about just like not getting the real thing that you feel kind of inclined to eat the whole thing, if that makes sense. It's like because 
it's lower in calories and I feel like I'm allowed to eat the whole thing, I'll eat the whole thing even if I don't want the whole thing. So I just feel like that is kind of a mental issue and that might just be me. But yeah, that is something to be aware of if you think you might need to be aware of that. If I was gonna choose between one of these though and just taking the macros into account, this one would definitely win. I guess aside from that, I don't really think there's much else to talk about. Um, so thanks for coming grocery shopping with me. Sorry nothing really seems super focused on like this is health related. I think it's because most foods can fit into any diet if you just kind of adjust yourself. So none of the food I eat is particularly special. Mostly I just eat like chicken and vegetables and grains, peanut butter, things like that. Yeah, nothing crazy. Everything can fit in moderation, but keeping it simple usually makes it easier, at least for me. Anyway, bye. <coughs>